there's moments in our development that are really important where we develop in fundamental new ways. For example, implantation would be one, conception would be another. Big change happens. Now, imagine that things go wrong. Maybe not a lot because you're born and you, you grow up, but imagine that in smaller ways, things go wrong. An interesting one that we've seen in some people is that at one of these key developmental moments where important stuff is happening, a structure inside the cell has to form properly and it doesn't go right. Essentially trauma happens at that moment um, for whatever reason. It could be a generational issue, it could be that you've got, you're floating along and you bang into the wall, it could be a lot of different reasons. And this structure that was supposed to have formed in your cells um, formed badly. Now we have one that we call um, column of self, and in that particular structure, um, if that structure is not quite right, it can lead to the feeling of um, that your core, if you really move into your core, you're going to be annihilated. That you'll die if you actually feel the center of your being. Now the reason people have this feeling is because that structure that was supposed to have developed actually has a flaw right in the middle. And because that's in our cells, um, we end up feeling that flaw in ourselves. So it causes people to actually, people with this particular problem, it causes them to really hold on to roles or um, um, identities in their life because that gives them a way to stay out of their center and into a role, like a mother role or a teacher role or whatever role it could be. But the bottom line is that development went wrong due to trauma and it caused um, the cells to form improperly and then this led to psychological issues later on in life. If I was a client with this issue and I came to a therapist and I said, you know, if I really put my attention into myself, I feel like I'm going to die. But as long as I have my job, I feel okay. And by the way, I just got fired and now I feel terrible. Um, this isn't directly related to trauma about being fired. This is indirectly related to trauma when we're actually forming in utero. Trauma is those moments in our life when we just can't accept what's happening. And if you think about it, you probably have a number of them in your own memory. For example, um, somewhere in your past, you'll have a frozen moment, like a picture in your mind. And there'll be, as you start to think about it, the feelings that you had at that moment will start to arise. So those are traumas, like frozen moments of painful memory in your past. The interesting part is that so much of people's behavior is based on trauma. You can think of it as each time you have a trauma, um, there is associated with it a kind of phrase that uh, you, you might say is a, uh, a judgment or a, or a decision, and they run your life. So people are a bit like um, rats in a maze. We will go along and then we do something, or we start to approach something and do something, and a feeling will arise that'll guide our behavior away from whatever is happening or towards depending on what the nature of the trauma is. So we're, we're constantly moving based on our past. The interesting part is that we don't often realize that the choices we make are based on these old forgotten traumas.